are karate students always the student or students of their instructors through the long haul in other words every student that ever comes through a martial arts school regardless of the discipline kung fu karate jiu-jitsu aikido judo muay thai even mixed martial arts for some once the student signs up for classes are they always or perpetually your student the answer is no I've taught over 1,000 students in my lifetime and I have been in the martial arts for approximately 50 years I began teaching around the age of 15 so about 35 years I've been teaching since I was a teenager now with that said there have been many people shopping searching seeking martial arts schools to join and some of them stayed some of them left early some of them signed up and paid their money and never came back you know why people don't know what they want oftentimes have you ever gone to a shopping mall perusing shopping just looking observing not really knowing what you specifically want sometimes there are so many things that capture your attention catch your eye and you'll peer over to this one particular place things look sort of appealing at first then nah, I'm not interested in that so you'll go over to another place either in one specific shop or in another uh, area of a shop martial arts is no different ever since the uh, late 60s early 70s and 80s people flooded the martial arts schools because of the Bruce Lee era and everyone and their grandparents wanted to join the martial arts school everyone wanted to open a martial arts school and instructors got some of everyone they had the people who were actually coming through their doors that were serious about learning martial arts and then there were some of those people who watched martial arts movies and thought they could fly literally through the air or they could knock down a stone wall or that they could vanish and appear in a different place all of these different types of things that they watched in movies there are some people who, during that time and even today don't really know what martial arts is all about what it entails it requires something of the individual it requires a significant amount of work mostly martial arts is spiritually based or it should be and the physical is just one aspect of the martial arts but have you as an instructor if you are an instructor watching me now have you ever had students come sign up for a month or two and they're gone and they were very talented I have have you ever had someone come and promise you that they'll be back next week or the next day and they never showed up again I have now what about the students who have been with you for a while a couple years three years and life happens they get married so they move they never come back to class they may have even at first dropped some of their attendance down and then eventually left all together no reason as to why never told you that they were leaving they just disappeared and what about those students who have been with you for a few years never obtained their black belt they left at brown belt red belt green belt never came back what about those students that you had that were always struggling with doing uh, the training they wouldn't take the work home and train while they were away from the dojo the dojang or the kun and when they come back it was apparent that they didn't have the curriculum down they didn't have the techniques down but they would get upset with you sometimes openly they would tell you how they felt and sometimes just 
acquiesce into the shadows when they would see you promote someone to the next rank and they were not promoted but they did not put the same amount of effort in as some of the other students who were more sincere and dedicated to training have you had those students so what am I really getting at here everyone shops martial arts to see how it fits them sometimes to see if it's what they really want uh, sometimes they are intrigued by things that they have seen on television or in the movies or maybe in an open martial arts event or maybe even a relative that they know or have who has studied and trained in the martial arts they joined for that reason maybe my departed father or mother excuse me my mother or father who's departed now studied karate or judo and I want to keep the family tradition alive that's why I'm joining it but it's really not in my heart to do there are people like that there are students who join martial arts schools who bounce from one school system to another school system to another school discipline or, or system thinking one thing is better than the other but at first the, the school that they initially joined they were in love with it seemingly after a period of time it became a bit lackluster so something pops up on television or something is advertised or they watch the UFC or the pride fights or something like that mixed martial arts and then all of a sudden now everyone wants to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or something else so they go there now Krav Maga comes around so oh, I want to study that now so they leave the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and they go to Krav Maga oh now Pancration is here you know I want to study Pancration oh no I want to leave then I want to study something else they're just all over the place so let me get to my real point there are people who join martial arts schools and align themselves with an instructor who will stay with that instructor until that instructor dies even becomes old and feeble and maybe they will take over the position of senior instructor as appointed by him or her or another higher ranking student under that instructor there are those students but just as well there are students who join who have issues one of the issues is they don't want to train they want instant gratification without putting the work in those are the students that leave you and go to another instructor or school that is easier on them where they don't have to sweat as much do as many techniques promote quicker then there are those students who join who are just there for family they want to have a club or a group that they can assign or align themselves with that they have a connection with they're not really really interested in the martial arts there are students who have been with instructors for three four five years maybe and that instructor closes the school down and he moves to another location and they don't follow it's not that they can't it just simply won't there are students who always have an excuse for why they won't do their instruct excuse me their students that will start dating uh, a guy will find a girlfriend a girl will find a boyfriend or whatever and that will pull them away from the class now their nose is all wide open and they're in love and martial arts is not important to them at the time or the moment but at first it was all they wanted to do so here's where the rubber meets the road in my own particular case in my own particular martial arts experience I have had all of those types of students I've had students who have left because some girl caught their eye never came back and guess what they're no longer in the relationship with the girl or the young lady anymore didn't tell me that they were going to leave 
and not come back. But anytime they see me in public, hey teacher, how you doing? I've had students who were moonlighting. They aligned themselves with me and they had been with me for years. But when something new or different came along, their eyes got really big and they began to train with someone else outside of me without my knowledge. And minimally all they had to do was come to me and say, is it okay if I study this or what do you think about this particular art? I have students who have done that and who have left coming back to me, bouncing back and forth from that school to me without my knowledge until later, even coming to find out they, that they had even been promoted by that particular instructor of that system. I call that in a sense, dishonesty, treason, disloyalty, because I'm from the old school. Now I know there's some that say, well, uh, I put on my pants just like teacher does. I've never been told that directly, just as a footnote. But I'm saying they think that. They feel like I can do whatever I want to do. I don't have to stay here. That may be true. But what is equally or even more true is the fact that you should extend minimally the respect and the courtesy to your instructor to tell them where you are. If you want to call yourself an adult or a mature individual. You don't just leave school and go somewhere training with someone else and never tell your instructor. I mean, I think that's a no-brainer. It goes without saying. We must learn. We have to learn to be accountable for our actions. I'm talking about the would-be students, the people who have joined or aligned themselves with martial arts instructors only to leave early, prematurely. So I'm going to push forward and conclude this by saying this. All students that join your school, your dojo, your dojang, your kwun, your club, ideally once they join, if they really know what they want, they should be with you forever until you can no longer teach. Yes, I believe that your students should be with you forever because there's one thing that they don't always see in the beginning and sometimes may never even get. It just depends on the individual. And that is the fact that once they sign up with you outside of the physical piece of paper or the contract agreement, they become a part of your extended family. A martial arts instructor, in other words, is sort of a, a, a mentor, a guide, uh, a role model, definitely, of something that is good. He or she is... Uh, a big brother or sister to some people and even like a father figure or a mother figure to others it's a fact so when you teach martial arts you are teaching people life skills something that's going to last them for the rest of their natural lives and that they can indeed pass on to the next generation how to con control yourself self-control temperance if you will how to uh, de-escalate a, a potential situation that could turn out to be uh, physical. This is the psychology of martial arts. It's not about kicking and punching as being the first resort in a potential uh, fight situation, maybe. It's really about how not to fight. And it's about how to control your temperament. It is about discipline. That's the D word, discipline. It's about that. And the thing about martial arts is that it's not just uh, the art of uh, martial science per se, but this transfers over into every aspect or it spills over into every aspect of your life in business, in your personal relationship, in your family. This same discipline does, or at least it should. So when a student leaves prematurely because they are immature and they want to seek something else or uh, they think the grass is greener on the other side as it were 
let them go. But with that said, me personally, if you haven't been to my class and haven't contacted me as your instructor for several years, and you bump into me in a mall, a grocery store, or just on the street in general, anywhere, and you say, hey teacher, that's my karate teacher or my kung fu teacher, hey, how you doing? I'm not your teacher anymore. I'm sorry. That's the brass tax of it. That's where we draw the line. That's where the rubber meets the road. I am no longer your instructor. I still have many former students that's out there. Some I've promoted to black belt in the, on the karate side, first, second, and third degree. And I have some that are masters. Most of my students that have been with me for years are still in contact with me and loyal to me and even training under me. But there are those who have lost the zeal to pursue the arts or they was never really on the journey and we must comprehend that everyone is not on the journey in the martial arts there are some people who join as I said before just to be a part of not to really achieve any rank not to go to any competitions martial arts that is not to uh, achieve any great level for themselves as an individual but just a sense of belonging but there's another individual that's akin to that same one that I just mentioned that person who wants to have a sense of belonging also wants to have the accolades they want to have certificates and awards and even belt rankings and so forth and they haven't done the work just because they've been with you 15 and 20 years on paper but they haven't done the work you have to do the work and to do the work requires effort on your part it is a disservice and it's a gross disservice to yourself as an individual when you assume that you're supposed to receive something of value for doing nothing just belonging just being on paper a part of an organization or having a membership somewhere it's really the the truth so are karate students always their instructor's students was my question or, or title of this particular video. No, they're not. I have students that began with me as students and some of them left for varying reasons. Now, if you die, we don't need to discuss that. If you are deathly ill, we don't need to discuss that. These are common things that happen to all of us as human beings. But if you're still alive, kicking, and you go to work every day, and you have entertainment, and you enjoy your family and so forth, and you won't call, won't show up, and uh, you have sort of disassociated yourself, don't call me teacher if you see me. You can call me teacher, but I'm not going to look at you and respond to you as if you were my student. You are a former student. So some people might think this is harsh you know my response to this type of behavior it's not harsh at all you know the right thing doesn't always feel good it's just unfortunate for some but what it really should do is incite you to want to step up step yourself up step your game up and be a better you at this thing we call martial arts or martial science so I still love my former students but they can no longer join my ranks once they have left especially if they have left uh, on a dishonorable type of a uh, note if you will I have no disdain for them uh, I have no animosity at all still love them however as a uh, senior martial arts instructor and as uh, a point of just principle I cannot allow you to 
still look at me as your teacher because it is you who chose to leave for whatever your reasons were. Now I will say this to my uh, credit. I may have said this in a video a couple years ago also. I have never lost a student because of my lack of ability to teach. It's never been that reason. If a student has ever left, as I forestated, they didn't know what martial arts really was about and what it really entailed and they were not willing to sacrifice through training, dil diligent study of material and so forth. They, they were not willing to do it. And so they placed themselves in that situation and not me. This is Brother Teacher. I hope that you have gleaned something from this, you instructors out there or you would be instructors and some of you students. Be loyal to your instructor if that is indeed what you want to do. Now, uh, as it relates to martial arts, now if you want to leave and the particular school you signed up for is not a good fit for you, then be man or woman enough to walk up to your instructor and say, may I speak with you for a moment? And you tell them uh, it, it doesn't suit you, their system or, or style, and they should be okay with that. This is the honorable way to leave. But to just walk out and not say anything at all, to go train under someone else while you are straddling the fence, we don't do things like that. That's a dishonor to martial arts. And not just that, to your instructor as well. This is Brother Teacher. I'm out.